If you've ever wondered how selling a home works, this video is definitely for you. Welcome, I'm glad you're back. If this is your first time visiting, my name is Andy Elliott. I work with the Sellings Real Estate here in Williamson County, Tennessee, and we serve the Nashville area. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos as they come along. Let me show you how to get a home sold. I'd like to start this video with the answer. Here's how selling a home works. The house you're selling has to be in slightly better condition for a slightly lower price than the competition. That's it, that's all, that's the secret. Now let me show you how to get there. There's three pillars to selling a house. Good pictures, good condition, good price. Those are the three pillars. But there's one other barrier that I need to mention. Emotions can be a barrier to making good pricing decisions. That is the emotional connection to your home. Sellers rarely see their home as a commodity because of that emotional connection. I remember when I sold my home in Colorado before I was a realtor, I remembered the expense and the effort that I put into upgrading my kitchen and my bathrooms. My perceived value of those things were much higher than they should be, other than the typical upgraded kitchen and bathrooms that a lot of people did in the neighborhood, you know? I had to put my buyer hat on and I had to leave my emotions out of it. Here's a question for you. What's your strongest emotional connection to your house? When we take the emotion out of it, we stand a pretty good chance of finding the right price. When you're trying to establish a price for your place, look for homes like yours in your neighborhood that have sold within the last three months. Try to find places that have square footage within about 10%. If you have a garage, they should have a garage. Make sure the bedroom and bathroom count is about the same. And the build type, brick for brick, siding for siding. Remember only to use sold homes to get your pricing. Look at the active properties to size up your competition. Once you find three homes like yours that have sold, you're gonna have a pretty good idea on the price. Here's what I mean. Of the three, let's say you find three that are kind of like yours and they're priced at 340, 350, 360. That's likely your price range. If, however, you see a house like yours that has high days on market, 60, 90, 100 days, and it's still unsold, take a good look at that property. Figure out why it hasn't sold yet. You can learn a lot from unsold properties. Let's talk about moving ready or not. In order to get the best price, your home has to be in better condition than the competition. Sometimes the sellers will have a blind spot on the condition of their home. If I ask them on a scale of one to 10, what do you think the condition of your home is? They'll say, oh, it's an eight, when I know that it's a five. What I've had to do in the past is take them on a buyer's tour of the competition so they can see what other people are doing. Most of the time when they're coming home, they'll say, you know, we really need to work on this or we need to work on that in order to get it up to snuff. Here's the reason I tell you this. When I start working with buyers, nine out of 10 times they'll say, hey, if you find properties that need some work, I'm okay with that. That's buyer code for maybe I can get more house or it will cost less because of the work that's needed. That's what the code is. But if I show them seven homes in a day, three of them are moving ready and four of them aren't, which ones are they gonna make the offer on? The move in ready properties, nine out of 10 times. Condition's gotta be good. The house goes under contract because of condition and price, but the process absolutely begins with the pictures. Here's how buyers found their homes. 52% found them online, 29% found them with a real estate agent, which as far as I'm concerned is online because the agent's just sending MLS pictures most of the time on the internet to the buyers. So that's 81%. The other 19% come from friends, family, relatives, direct from the seller for sale by owner, maybe new builds. That means eight out of 10 buyers find them online. And what is it that the internet does better than anything else? It shows us pictures. So you need pictures, lots of pictures, nice pictures, professional pictures. Remember, pictures get the buyer's interests, condition and price gets the contract. 
That's it. That's how selling a home works. Doesn't sound very complicated, and it sounds a little easier than it is, but that's what it is. If you're wondering about drone shots and cinema type videos with soft music, they're fine. But they're actually more for branding the agent than selling the house. Again, they don't hurt anything. But just as long as you know the difference between marketing for the agent and marketing for the house. Remember to watch my video, How Not to Sell Your House. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos as they come along. Leave a comment, give me a like, will you? Talk to you soon.